do you say to those folks who who feel that, who feel that it is a threat, it's a threat to their way of life, even though people have come here legally and our our country is a country of immigrants. It's always been that way. What do you do to help them see what God is doing? See through the lens of God, not through the lens of 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 loss or nationalism. You know, it it's um it's incumbent on all of us as Christians to try to see our world, the world, uh, every situation through through God's eyes. And so it helps to be able to point them back to Scripture. Mm-hmm. And that passage that I referenced earlier, it's just, it, it frankly, it jolted me because I've read the Bible so many times, and it's just a part of my daily life. But i got to be honest, I did not notice this verse until my the Global Gates time. colleagues pointed the first it out hundred to me. times through you missed it the exactly. first hundred times you know and then it's the way scripture is god's word is just that way as yeah. our life encounters different situations scripture speaks to us in different ways and so i love to share this verse and i want to read it again yeah. for yeah. your right. listeners acts chapter 17 verses 26 and 27 it's god speaking to us here he says from one man god made all the nations What that says is we're all family. We're all related. We're all from that one origin. He made all the nations that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would perhaps, so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him though he is not far from any one of us. This means the the boundaries that we all inhabit today. And, you know, our people, uh, I look at you and I say, yeah, we've probably got the same sort of Northern European, Northwest European background. Um, So does that mean we should have stayed there? Well, praise God, he brought us here and he's allowed us to be here in a new land. And all the peoples that have come here, are also brought here because God, it says in Acts chapter 17, verse 26, God has appointed the boundaries of these people, and he did it for a purpose. God's purpose was so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from any one of us. I I think one reason Christians have a a xenophobia, to use a big word, a fear of the stranger or an opposition to outsiders is because they don't see them as potential brothers and sisters in Christ. But when they meet these people as born-again believers and see what God can do in transforming a Muslim fundamentalist into a a born-again, spirit-filled lover of Jesus Christ, they see the future these Christians begin to see what's possible, and it begins to melt their heart. And they say, this is what we want to see happen. We're not anti-foreigner. Uh, the Bible is just filled with passages which, yes. which speak about you know, loving the stranger because you were once a stranger in a strange land. We know it's right, but the thought that our land could be uh, overwhelmed by other religions, that's mm-hmm. kind of what strikes fear. And uh, as a result of fear, hostility in the hearts of Christians. And they just need to see through the eyes of faith and then engage. It's Mm -hmm. not enough just to passively watch it happen. We're calling, Global Gates is calling on churches to be missional churches again. Mm. And not just be attractional lighthouses. Right. You know, that's uh, that's not the model that the Great Commission compels us to. It it sends us out into the the world, Mm -hmm. crossing barriers. Uh, going the extra mile to bring someone to faith in Jesus. And now God has done the heavy lifting. You know, he, he died for them. He saved them. Now he's brought them to our front porch. And we're still going to sit back and just watch. That we seems- need to be reaching out and bringing them into the kingdom. 